Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? Welcome back. It has been another week. So we have a week's worth of the makeup that you selected that you want us to talk about. So you might notice Tia is not here. It's very hot in Finland. So she's going to have what is very uncharacteristic of her, a nap. But in her stead, we have the wonderful, fantastic, very opinionated Sam. Hi, this is crazy. This is crazy. Very um, exciting. Yeah, no, this is crazy. I've been watching this for like years. So this will be, this will be mad. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you know the deal. I'm going to put Sam's details down below in the description box so you can go and follow him in, in a nice way, not in a creepy stalker way. Not in a, yeah. Unless you're super attractive like Penn Badgley in you. <laughs> Um, then we might make some kind yeah, of maybe. Yeah, um, you know. No, I. I mean, I had an art account. I've now archived all the drawings because I gave up with drawings. So now it's a narcissistic selfie account. But you can go still check it out. We love a bit of narcissism. Love a little bit of narcissism. Oh, good. Yeah. Anyways, it's been. I'm not gonna lie. A bit of a slow week. We have that every so often, but. Thank goodness for you guys tagging me in content because otherwise it'd just be me and Sam staring at each other. Staring at trend moves. <laughs> yeah, gonna go, what the fuck is there? What Nothing. Is there? Nothing. Yeah. But you guys go and you do all the hard work and then you tag me and I claim all the credit like the gross fucking influencer that I am. So big thank you to Brianna, Ali, Beth, Gillian, Miss Charlie, Transtopia, Makeup Release Radar, Shanna, Chrissy, Lisa G, Brogan, Angela, Manuela T, Gina, Ilya, Inez, Tina, Katie, JW, Claire, Tia, Jade S, Emily, Missa, Alex, Alexis, and Megan. A huge thank you to all of you. Um, you. I gotta say, I'm always proud of myself when I don't trip over the names. So I, you know what, I listen to you read that every single week. And I'm just like, how is she not, like, how is she not gonna like just, like just, just start going on like? Ella. I couldn't, I couldn't. But I mean, talent. It's one of my many talents, gotta say. Um, and a huge thank you to my Patreons. Um, yes. You're the best, and you keep me sane. You did just listen to a conversation that I had today in the WhatsApp group, panicking because I saw two teenage girls in um, velour tracksuit sets, which said juicy on the back. And I felt that maybe I had like, you know, back to the future a bit. It was- Yeah, that's my generation. Um, very yeah. scary time for me. I, I did not like it, is all I can say. Yeah, and we have a birthday, a very, very happy birthday to the lovely Sylvia. Sylvia, of course, has her own YouTube channel. She's Sylvia Manero, and she's disgustingly talented, and I hate her. So, eh. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, okay. how very dare she. How very dare she. Yes. Now, there was, there was a theme, but mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll all be very surprised. <laughs> To see that I've done. Teresa has not even tried. No. Um, no. Teresa's hopped up on painkillers. <laughs> Teresa's um, high on antihistamines. Um, don't trust anything I say in this episode. Uh, I got some dental work done, and thankfully my face is no longer lopsided. But I was like, no, nah, this is not the time to be doing the makeup. No. But you know, our theme was dark and mysterious because. Well. I was trying to summon a little bit of like yeah. rain or something. Anyways, you have my Patreon's looks there and I, I don't bother anymore because they go without Jimmy. So there you go. There they are. Yeah, disgraceful. Anyways, let's just get straight into it. There are a few little bits. First, let's be disgustingly bougie. This is Charlotte Tilbury with her incredibly cheap looking packaging. And this is the translucent airbrush powder. So it seems like obviously she has like her airbrush powder, which I don't know about you, but I've seen so many people like hitting pan on this constantly, which makes me kind of go, how much product? How much product is in this? Okay, so to be a little controversial yet brave, I, this is my top one favorite powder. <laughs> I've heard really good things about it though. That this, annoys me. This is my favorite, <laughs> this is my favorite powder of all time. I have gone through, I mean, 
I think I went through one last year. I, there is no powder to me personally and to a lot of other people that I know. Like this powder has been milled seven times. This powder is butter. Like this powder is powdered. Like it's very soft, very thin, very, 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 very mattifying. But it's not like a, it's not like a chalk. It's not like a, it's, not, it's like a one block color. It's very luminous in a way, but it's, it matte. It's a very weird powder, but I love it. And I will keep rebuying it. I but think there should be like a big backstory behind it of like, you know how they make those like ads about beer and it's like, it has been harvested in the highest amount <laughs> of definition. Blah, 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 blah. We should like Charlotte should be doing something like that of like all the darlings have come to harvest the mill powder. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> um, no, this genuinely one of my top favorite powders of all time. Um, but I will say, I just okay the the powder that I use. I don't have it anymore. But the translucent powder, I think it's the, sh it's the first shade or shade two. It's um, not the lightest one. I think it's the second one. All of them um, aren't meant to have that much coverage. They're meant to just slightly tint, but like mainly mattify and set down. I won't lie. I don't think this is fully needed. What? You make you mean that Sharon has released something that wasn't entirely necessary? So, how could you do that to us? It's so unlike you. Look, do we need four pillow talks? I mean, I just I think that this is it's uh, I don't know. Like, I mean, for touching up during the day if you're getting greasy, I mean I'm grease pig, like I am grease pig king. But maybe throughout the day. I mean, how much is this? I mean, they haven't said yet, but I, I suspect it'll be in the ballpark of what the rest of her powders are. Probably like probably like what, like thirty-five pounds. Yeah, like I said, the price of your firstborn. Oh, <laughs> the price of your firstborn. Um, I'm obviously I'm valuing my firstborns very low. No. <laughs> I know that my I know that my eggs are scrambled. Forty five <laughs> quid. Um. Yeah. No. I would just take it. Um. It's okay. Would I buy it? As like, like Matthew. I think Matthew was telling me and Missa were both telling me about the number seven airbrush away. She has it. Um. Thank you. I mean, if I was like, if I was looking for a transition powder, I'd probably go for that. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's like, what, like 15 pounds? Yeah. Well and truly hit can. Look at that. That is, that is, a, that is just. She's I can do it. I do use my makeup. I know I have like fucking <laughs> mountains of it, but there is stuff that hits pan in my collection. Oh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Look how many, I mean, does anyone need this many lipsticks? No, but. Oh, you, you don't want to see the drawers over here. <laughs> no, I, I, I love powder. I can't live without it, but I think this, I mean, what you said before, how much you get, do you need to be paying 50 pounds for it, for a translucent powder that you could probably get from number seven? No, I think that you can, I, in my opinion, you can live without this. Yeah, I'm kind of of a similar opinion. Like if it turned up, which is always like the scenario that I use. <laughs> if it magically turned up in my mailbox. By the way, this is not me like hinting and being like, it's in the view and it's in the thing. Shout out to everyone if I'm going to be my artist. You know, you want to be best <laughs> friends with me. Um, Charlotte, darling. Darling. Um, like, darling. I wouldn't be unhappy with it, but I don't, like it's not on my priority list. Like oh, I don't yeah. feel like, I don't shit myself for a powder. I shit myself for other things, yeah. which is, by the way, a medical condition, and we can't, we can't think about that too much. I look at my brush. I mean, I'm just. Um, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. fine. It's kind of like middle of the road. It's okay. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not saying I'd swipe left or swipe right, but I probably wouldn't bother reading the description of this particular Tinder profile. Period. Yeah, no, this uh -huh. is a bit. This is yeah. whatever. Anyways, when I put it to you guys, 38% of you said I'm interested, 31% said not for me, and 31%, which is the same as me, said too expensive. expensive. 
Because we're all going to live under a bridge with her makeup palette. When we buy this, yeah, man. Yeah. Amazing. Um, and now for more expensive bougie makeup. This is Natasha Denona and this is their dream collection. So there's the My Dream Eyeshadow Palette. There's the My Dream Blush and Highlighter Palette. And there's also lipsticks, lip liner and glosses. And we don't know what the prices are yet. It's one of those like coming soon things. But considering it's one of their 15 pan eyeshadow palettes, I suspect it's going to be about that 60 poundish sort of yeah. thing and I'd say probably the highlighter face thing is probably like 30 something and the lipsticks are usually about 20 something so mm. I, I will say when I saw this palette I was like but she's done this before this is a love child of the retro. palette yeah. and the retro yeah. and I was like sweetheart so I, have you done a huda and are you just recycling your <laughs> ideas now I'm gonna be honest I will be needing all of this <laughs> <laughs> I, will be needing, I mean to be fair actually I, I i take that back will i be needing the cheap palette no um you can probably get those colors from gt bay do i need the sh now i mean i'm wearing her today but her shadow formula now i've tried i might be 18 and i might be a baby but i have tried more or less every shadow formula there is on the market i've tried from poundland to natasha denona i have tried Urban Decay, I've tried Beauty Bay, I've tried P. Louise, I've tried Be Perfect, I've tried Jeffree Star, I've tried every eyeshadow formula there is, mostly. But in terms of high-end formula, I have never found something like hers. I have yeah. never, both, and it's very hard with eyeshadow in my experience, and a lot of other people's I've spoken to, to find an eyeshadow that is both very blendable and very pigmented. Yeah is very hard and I can say now from doing um knowing a lot about makeup manufacturing because I have had a bit of experience these colors are not as easy to formulate and as cheap to formulate as other colors these bluish pink mauve taupe colors aren't that cheap to formulate because the undertones and sciencey little things but it's not that cheap to make hence why I've had it so like I mean, rent for a month but the, I mean, look, the trio chrome kind of colour in the corner is cute. I have so many Natasha Denona palettes. Like, I, I have a chunk of them. And I, I enjoy them. You know, I do. And I will say, like, if I want to do a fairly simple, <clears throat> no fuss, no muss, I know what's going to work. Yeah. I'm not going to have to worry about it too much. That, those are the palettes that I'll go for, yeah. you know? Um, so for me, I'm like, I can see this like a very luxe sort of a look of a, like an eyeshadow look you would get out of that. Like I can see yeah. that you could do something very nice, very smoky. Um, is it necessarily a color story that I'm that bothered about? No. Will I potentially end up getting it at some point? Shut the fuck up. Don't judge me. I probably will. Oh, um, okay. you know, uh, because I, by my feelings because I'm not able to verbalize them and that's yeah. what happens it just bubbles up in this sort of a weird expenditure so I'm I'm of the same opinion I really like the eyeshadows they work really really well I like the face products as well I will say that face palette ain't gonna work for me because yeah. I I am the color of this wall you are paper. yeah no I am um... <sighs> the lip colors look kind of like pillow talk I mean, I don't need the lip colours. You can probably get that from like a NYX or something. But the shadows, I mean, that looks stunning. And it, for like an everyday, for an everyday 2015 neutral smoky eye, cute. You know, you've got a black, you've got a chestnut brown, you've got some purple and some magenta there. You've got these bluey pinks, you've got a trio chrome, you've got a good selection yeah. of stuff. You know, I can see... I mean, I can see Daniela having a field day. Oh, with she that would. That dark purple, that trio chrome, that black. I can see her having a field day with that. Yeah. That. Look, I think this is a nice palette. And I think this is versatile enough for like an everyday thing. I think if somebody bought this, they would get great use out of this. If they're, like, if they're like a fairly basic everyday makeup user, I think they will really enjoy this. Me, I struggle using the same palette like negatively yeah. because I'm just like I, my, my brain doesn't let me it's like but, just the other thing. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but that's my cross to bear frankly um I think this is lovely I will say I have her lipsticks and I really enjoy the formula mm. of them they're very very nice to the point that 
uh, for Sahil's mum's birthday, um, mm. I bought her a few like Natasha Denona lipsticks. Oh. Yeah, I mean, she's very excited. I've heard they're great. I mean, I've like, there's not much that I've tried from Natasha Denona that I wasn't like impressed with. I, I, I have to say, I, I like quite, I like basically everything I've tried. Listen, I will have to preface this by saying it might be a neutral palette, but I had to learn this. This formula is not beginner friendly. If you don't know how to work with eyeshadow, you will not know how to work with this, period. I think if you have never used, if you've never done like a neutral, because this is more or less if you look at it, right? Take, take the purples out of that for a minute. This is a contouring your eye kind of palette. This yeah. is to add shade and light, you know, Kat Von D. This is like to add a nice structure to your eye and, to sh you know, shimmer a bit. But her formula, you need to know how to work with shadow yeah. to have that. But I think it's cute. Um, I, yeah, I mean, the cult beauty gift boxes, uh, the cult beauty advent calendars usually throw in a lot of her stuff. You, they you, do. Usually, you usually don't get a lot of her big ones. Um, the cheek palette they'll probably throw in maybe, um, or her lipsticks. But the big palette, um, if you want to buy it and you just can't, you you cannot bring yourself to look at the price tag. Cult Beauty do sales, so just wait till that they happens. Do. And this is the perfect chance for me to go. There's an affiliate link down below for Cult Beauty and other things because we like keeping the light on in this house. One light, not two lights, one. <laughs> one bedroom light, no. One. Um, one. No, um, cute. Yeah. I, wish you, I, I wish she did something more colourful, but, you know, cute. Ah, we can't have it all, Sam. No, we we really can't have it all. But, you know what, it's fine. I think this is, like, again, it's a smart idea because this is, like, what 90% of the market seems to want. People, yeah, this like, aren't here. that into colourful makeup. You know, the amount of times that I'll go out with like a bright look and then people will be like, you're so brave. And I'm like, damn right, I am. Yes, a I am, yes. I put um, on my pants today. <laughs> like, you know. Clothes today. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, I think we're seeing a lot more because I work in that brand. I, I'm trying to work in that branding area. I think that we're seeing a lot more grungy 90s colours. I think, to be honest, no shade. No shade to be perfect. Um, well, but... I think this is less of what we're seeing. Yeah, I agree. It's less this now, and I'm not even going to show you the front of it because I don't even want you to judge me for it. I think this is more what we're seeing now. I think so too. I think this is what we're seeing. I mean, look at George, Jordana Tisha coming out with their neutral eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Like... I think this is kind of the, the way that it's going, the no problem yeah. the most. And you kind of see that as well coming into recessions. People yes. tend to go for the more staple thing, sort of thing you know? God damn it. Anyways, it's grand. Like, it's fine. I'll probably pick it up at some point because mm -hmm, I buy my feeling. Mm -hmm. When I put it to you guys, 34% of you loved it. 34% said not for me. And 31% said I like some of it. And this next one makes me want to go smash. I fucking hate this. And there's no way that I can, like, like sugarcoat this. This angers me. I loved, I loved She-Hulk as a kid. Like, that cartoon used to be on in yeah. the morning and I was like, yes, yeah. there's a lady and she's strong she's powerful she's in charge yeah and she was smart and she was witty and I was like yes I want that I want to be that and I tried to emulate her in as many ways as possible and then Urban Decay why why do they get these clubs why do they get Game of Thrones why do they get fucking print why do they get they get what was it the, the Guardians or whatever it was I have this no 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 Urban Decay you are not allowed to have any more collaborations I am not allowing it Banning. ban them I yeah. much. I, it angers me because I remember them when they were interesting in the, in the early noughties and they had like the, the hey. vice palette they, yeah the vice palettes they were brilliant I yeah every them. every christmas the electric palette and yes. like, i remember these and then they were like oh no we'll get you the naked ones i'm like no go fuck yourself like the naked really like okay i'm gonna say one thing with urban decay there seems to be this thing that they they choose the best brands to collab with some of the best brands they disappoint. They, oh, yeah. They, that Alice, I remember the Alice with oh. the last one. It had a no. pull out drawer. <laughs> she can't, she can't remember it. Um, no, it had a pull out drawer and it had like a, just like the shitty plastic mirror and the, 
I just, I don't know what they were doing. And that was 2016. God knows what they did. That was like, oh, to be back in that time. Yeah. That was actually good compared to the shite that they're doing now. I just, I don't know what, I mean, to be fair, some of their stuff, I do look at and go, okay. I mean, the, um, the oven, what's it called? The, um, is it the smoky palette? The gray yeah. one. Yes. I like that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cool gray toned person. I love it. I have that palette and I don't understand. Why love it. You just, why? Their decisions make zero sense to me. Like you said, they do amazing. Like they have the possibility because they collaborate with people that I'm like, this is relevant. This is now, it's this good. is the moment. And then they're like, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, She-Hulk, but make it 2016. I'm just like, we're done. Like, also, I don't know what this is. Do you guys remember the um the one where it was like a headache to look at? It was like, it was like splattered paint on the inside and it was like a rainbow colored mess. Kristen Leanne, that's it. That I have palette, that. Yeah, it, migraine. That palette. All the shapes. The shapes, the disorientated, like it was so, it was horrible. The I'll put um, a picture up now, lads, so you know what it is that we're talking about. It was very, yeah, it was, it's not aesthetically pleasing to look at. It was horrible. I remember that. I think that the colors themselves actually didn't look that bad. It was yeah. the layout. The yeah. layout looks horrible. I didn't know what this was. Um, I really didn't like it. I think that this is, I don't know, like the point, the reason why I'm mentioning that, they have this thing where they lay out the shadows weirdly. Like there's these six shades here. There's one a massive pan in the middle. And why out all colors you're doing a lime green? Yeah. Like I, I get it, She-Hulk, I get it, like whatever. I get the Hulk is green. And to be fair, to be honest with you, the packaging is stunning. Thank you. The that is the best gorgeous. part of it. The packaging is gorgeous. They never fail when it comes to the packaging. Never. The packaging is always like 20 out of 10. And then you open it On and you're pets. like, oh, like, oh, That's it's just like, you, you don't, you, they, they've never understand the assignment. It's so, no. I don't know, like, why is that? Also, is this a mini, is this a blush palette or like a... Yeah, this is, right, so they have two palettes. They have the 13 pan palette and then they have a six pan eyeshadow palette, which, how do you give me a She-Hulk palette, which has one shade of green and, and then the six pan palette makes zero sense. It's, it's, it's like a cast off, a reject of their li- naked line. It's literally, if you look at that, okay, these two shades. Handle this and in control are very, very similar to each other. Handle this and control. Handle this is a tiny bit more cool tone, but I yeah. they still, I was looking at learning off the page and in control. I was looking at that because that, to be honest, now the Urban Decay pictures aren't that deceiving. Yeah. Because they're, they're different on the Urban Decay page compared to Trend Mood. These ones look like, if you look on the Urban Decay page, the shades all look different in that mini one. But on the on the Trend Mood page, they all look the same. So I don't know what they, I don't know. A lot of brands do this where they just have like different angles of, I don't know. Literally. Um, literally like that, remember that, oh my God, that beauty blender foundation where it was just like orange. It reminds me of this. You know what this, okay, you know what this mini palette is? This is the Morphe 35.0. This is- Shut the fuck up, it is. This is the orange shades. This is the sparkly copper brown. This That's exactly is what it is. A champagne color. This is the Morphe 35.0. But for what, like twice the price? Like, do you, don't tell me, now all of you, all of you watching this, do not tell me, do not give me that shit excuse that you don't have these colors. You have these. You have the mini palette, you have all of them. You have a reddish brown, you have a neutral brown and you have a light tan color and you have these shimmers. If you have the Beauty Bay, um, like any of the Beauty Bay neutral palettes or the fiery palette, you have this. If you have the, Car- I mean the Carnival XL, I mean, mine's wrecked, but I mean, you have similar. Yeah. If you have the Earthy palette, you have some of the, you don't need this. No. This is really, this is like six years ago. This is. I think they're really banking on somebody who's been in a coma for the last 15 years, waking up, seeing this and kind of going, this is innovative. This is great. No, this is so, this is like, you know what? Someone, someone could have gone, I mean, horrible thing about this. Someone could have gone into a coma in 2016 Woken up now, could have looked at this and gone, nothing's changed. We are still yeah. having a dream. Like this is, I mean, the bigger palette, I mean, I think I can see that, I mean, that brownish green one. It looks a bit like a duochrome. That yeah. looks interesting. However, I'm going to say it now. I don't know if it's just me. Urban Decay formula is 
slightly outdated. Like, frankly, we, it was good at the time. Incredible. But we haven't updated yeah. it no. at all. No. Their formula since 2014 ish has not changed. Never been touched. Yeah, it's it's okay. But then again, it's one of those sh- it's one of those um, formulas. It's more blendable than it is pigmented. You have to build yeah. up. I remember I had the Naked Cherry. You had to, and it, gorgeous shades, gorgeous yeah. like blue pink shades. But you have to build them up if you want pigment. And the darkest colours aren't actually that dark when you put them on. I also find that they fade massively. Over they the- do. They fade and they like bleed. And they- I don't know. It's a mm. weird formula. Live for the eye primer. Live for it. I don't know about this big palette. I don't know. The blue, whatever. The lime green, sure. But I don't know. These shimmers, are they going to be moon dust formula? Are they going to be... That's the thing. Like the moon dust stuff is really fucking good. It's really I know good. that they're capable of good stuff. They and are. Then, and then they just half arse it. Listen, this stay naked foundation, live it, live for it. One of my favorites. This, I am so upset. What? Okay, you also you did a She Hulk collab. Where is all the green? There is two greens in here. Three if you count the duo chrome, but that's like a brown. There yeah. is two greens in here. And instead, well, you that's put generous. It's generous. Saying generous to put two greens. No, I want to see. A, I want to see a Jafar Star Blood Money selection. I want to see the palest of green to the darkest of. I want to see a mint green all the way to like an emerald, yeah. like forest green. I don't understand it. Like I've seen, like Transtopia has even like put like quick palette ideas like herself would have done, and I was like, yes, this this is, this is what it should have been. Like, why yeah. is the people on the people on the packaging and the, the people on the um like the marketing department, what are you doing? Like what is what is this? Like this well, also it's Hulk, right? Where is the black? Ugh. There's so much wrong with this that it's easier just to say what is right. The packaging. The packaging is great. That's it's it. Great. I don't know where any of like the I just I don't I don't know. I really don't know what this is. Neither do they. <laughs> no, everyone's it's like everyone's somebody everyone's... made a palette who had no idea who She Hulk was. Literally, they were like, "Okay, She Hulk, but make it 2016, make it Morphe, make it influencer." Uh, no, you've lost the whole thing. You've lost the whole thing. I can imagine. Even you know what? I can imagine, like even Jacqueline Hill picking this up and going. And she can, she's very good at selling anything. Yeah. I can imagine her picking this up and going. I I don't see this. I can see. Like, I just, I don't think this is, even I actually saw Robert Welsh put this on his Instagram story and I like, love him. He saw my drawing, yeah. I love him. He put this on his Instagram story. He was like, oh, dot, dot, dot. And he was like, that's not a good O, by the way. This is like, what? Like, what? And also I'm offended. I love green. I'm offended. Thank like, you. what is this? You could have gone, you know what they should have done? My last point about this. This is what the palette should have been. Oh, 5,000%. This is what it should have been. Yeah. You should have done, get rid of the red. This is this should have been the palette. This should have been She-Hulk. And what that is? that is a thousand times more She-Hulk. Than this. Like, yeah. I just, Nonsense. I don't. Nonsense. Don't get it. The mini palette is, I don't know what that is. And the swatches even look a bit. Ugh. I don't look. care. This has made me angry. <laughs> I'm great. Yeah, this is aggressive. It's very this. bad. Anyways, yeah. when I put it to you guys, ten percent of you love it. Are you well? Did you hit that by accident? What happened? Ten percent hated it. I, I, I can't. Sixty-eight percent of you, i.e., the same people, said not for me, and twenty-three percent of you, I assume, had a gun to your head and said, "I like some of it." I like some of it. <laughs> like, listen, if I had to keep some of them, I keep the duo chrome, um, and I keep the i'd keep the packaging and throw everything else away yeah, I, would say, I would gut the palette out and i would just put my you know my own singles in there yeah put some put some you know offshoot like minis or put some yeah whatever like not, just... not that fucking nonsense dreadful and um oh more i suppose nonsense is the correct one to use here color oh, are really yeah they're really trying to be the new revolutions you know how revolution has about 50 different sub brands now color pop has gone we have a third sub brand and they're like hey we've made it into a pun who has its hair stuff and it's called the main event and i'm like oh god okay, why just, do you do these things to me just a quick um okay color pop fourth ray main soul body 
That's four. Yeah. Do you need anything else? Do you? No. Like, you already had three. You already had soul. You've already had colour pop. You already have fourth ray. Do you need anything? You do you need anything else? Like I just I don't think that this is needed. Like well, to be fair, colour pop have never dealt in needing. You know that I honestly fully yeah that is I don't think that those were ever. I don't think any of their products were ever like I need. Them. I no. think that they go very much on trends and nostalgia and FOMO. Yeah. yeah, this is, you know, I just think that um we're at a point now, we're in a world now, after COVID and after everything that's happened, people have looked at their makeup collections. Most people, a lot of people have looked at their makeup collection. <laughs> most people have looked at their makeup collection and gone, what do I need? What do I don't need? And I think that a lot of people are, especially me, I I have one Colourpop thing, one, and it's a single shadow. I went to America in April and I got this from Ulta. Let me tell you, when I was a 12 year old and I was on Instagram, every, the only thing I wanted was the Super Shock shadows. That's the only thing. I picked one up. Do you know how horrible this is for the the eyelids? This breaks, up, this breaks up immediately. It creases, it cracks. I've hit pan immediately. It's a stunning shade. Yeah. Just, yeah. It's just, the, the labelling has come off of it. Like, I thought this brand was like the tits. This brand is like, I don't know. I don't, look, I know nothing about hair. That, leave that to Brad Mondo. I don't know anything about hair. Well, but, to be fair, Brad Mondo apparently doesn't know anything about hair if TikTok is to be believed as well. No, that's true. I don't know. Leave Whoever does hair now, I don't know. Leave that to them. But I just don't know. I Also, the colours. Yeah. I don't gray. Is that grey? Yeah, they're they're what they're hair tints, so they're semi. Oh, it's not even, oh, it's not even dye. Yeah, um, and then there's coloring conditioners to extend the color vibrancy, which okay, but they've apparently already been trying to get like influencers to basically go, oh my god, this is amazing straight away without them having properly tried it. But I'm like, you need to have now. This is from somebody who's never dyed their hair because I'm too fidgety to sit down okay. do my yeah. hair. Um. But I'm like, surely you need to have a product particularly like this for a while and see how many washes it can go through. Yeah. See what it's like in the sun. Is like the sun going to crisp it out? Is it going to dry it out? What's, what's going to happen? But I don't know. Uh, Colourpop are kind of pissing me off. And I just- they are, yeah, they, Oh yeah, 100%. There's too much choice. There's too much. Yeah. There's too many palettes. There's too many. If you go on the Colourpop website, I dare all of you after this video, go on the Colourpop website, and go on them, you know those palettes, uh, the, you know the Stone Cold Fox one? Yes. Look at how many of those types of palettes they have and look at all the repetition. Look at all the browns. But they dupe themselves. They dupe themselves. Come. And some of, them are, some of them are gorgeous. Yeah. Some of them are horrible. But like, you look at them and it's like, do I need them? Like how many, like, I don't even, like they say makeup takes a year to make. How much makeup are they making? How much makeup, like, I know they own their own warehouse, so therefore it's easier for them to, like, put stuff out quickly. Yeah, well, I mean, they are, like, every week. Every, something. every week. It's too much. It's too no, much. No, way too much. Way too much. You know what? It, it, it is. I, it's, it's literally what you said. It's the American Revolution. It is. And I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know why we thought we needed hair dye or hair tint or hair I don't know I don't really care but no. I just and also if you look at the the pots on like when they get opened that color in the bottom right what is that color uh that's the color of my soul that is the color of an the inside of a body that is the color of a rotting body yeah I told you the color of my soul oh <laughs> On the inside, yeah. Like, I mean, I don't even want to know what it's going to smell like. So I just, okay. I think that this is just—it's not for me. And I have not bought anything from ColourPop in like two plus years, and I cannot see myself buying them never, again. I've never wanted to. Yeah, there's never, there's never been anything that I've looked at and gone, "Oh, I need that from ColourPop." Like, it's see, I'm, really... I'm the bitch that's susceptible to marketing and to like influencers. Uh... Like, Oh my god, this is amazing! And I'm like, okay, Angelica, you've said this is good. I'll go off and buy this. I don't buy it. And then oh, I'll yeah. buy it, and then be like, mm, it works for her. When do you do hey. it? Oh, I, I'm literally the same with Wayne Goss. He tells me something. Bought yeah. in the car, but um, I 
see, I work in, I want to work in marketing and I know what they're doing here. And it is very smart, but very annoying. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're just going for the sheer familiarity effect. The more that you see the item, they're, they're hoping that because you're so familiar with it and seeing it so often yeah. that some of it will stick. Yeah. No, literally. I don't know why they, do you know what they should have done with this money that they, that they invested into these hair dyes or whatever they are? Do tell. Reformulate your super shock shadows. Put the money into reformulating them. Make them good shadows. Because listen, you could have a good opportunity here. They are six, like six dollars each. If you made them good formulas, like Beauty Bay's done it, why can't you? Like yeah. if you make them good, keep more loads more people would buy them again. Yeah. See, otherwise they're gonna fall down that trap of urban decay of you had a good formula once, but you haven't updated it. You haven't, yeah, you know, you haven't touched it since. And it's really and I used to love Urban Decay, but now it's just like, these brands are just... But think about Colourpop. They were on a high for a while. And now it's down, yeah. I mean, there's a, a trend to these things. Oh, I, I don't give a shit. No, like, no, I'm, I'm not even going to say it in the nicest way, because... The, it's, it's irrelevant. Yeah. But then again, we're not the only ones who think this, apparently. 17 yes. like, people hated it. Yeah. God, I love it when we're all in this little <laughs> echo chamber. Yeah, 22% said so they loved it. Yeah. But then 78% said so they hated it. So we're not hated. Not for me. I think yeah. that, I think Because we're right. nice. We don't say nice. hate. Load <laughs> this. Burn it. Burn it. But yeah. that's... I read it as burn this put it straight into the incinerator now we have Fenty so good old Riri is coming out with some more things this is the Ease Droplet All Over Glow Enhancer which by the way long title of a product I kept forgetting what it was when I was trying to make a TikTok yeah. of it I had to write it down because my brain <laughs> couldn't, couldn't contain it this is $34 and it comes in four shades they've all these things of saying there's vitamin E and milk thistle and whatever but I'm like but there's not oh. going to be enough of it to actually penetrate yeah. in that Barrier, but okay you know use your selling points I think this is a little bit late to the party because so many brands have done this already I mean Elf literally just dropped some and I'm like am I going to get the Elf or am I going to get the Fenty one you know spoiler alert I bought the Elf one yeah, but yeah I want it I want to buy it and it's great yeah. but not even you know honestly not even Elf and not even Charles Hilbury do you remember Iconic London yes those metallic shimmer Instagram drops this was done like I don't know. The thing with Fenty is, okay, first of all, I will tell you why I'm not buying this. I'm oily. I don't need any more shine. I don't need any more glitter. I don't need any more moisture. I've got enough. I think if you have dry skin, this might be cute for you. Yeah. Um, I can see, who can I see using this? I think Matty said he wanted to buy it. Um, Matty is a re-re ho. Matty, Matty is like... Matty, Matty talked about wanting the clip-on lip gloss, which made me lose all respect for him. Matty wants it, yeah, Matty wants the REM concealer. Um, I'm joking, Matty, I love you. <laughs> we love, no, we love Matty. You know what I look, I look and I go, like, I, it's nothing great. Yeah, like, it's fine. It's, it's middle of the road. Yeah. Also, this glowy, illuminating drop thing was 20, like 2021, 2020. 20, to 20, 2016, like, what are you oh, doing? Yeah, yeah. this, I like I said, Late to the game. Literally. No, literally what you said. Late to the yeah. party. And $34. Oh, it's, 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 it's hideous. The price no, I'm sorry. Like, just, it's it's not. I love re re I do. I re really no. But you have to be able to separate the artist from the item. And just for me, it just, it ain't it. I think there's plenty of products out there that do something similar for a fraction of the cost. And like you said, there are just certain skin types that this isn't going to work for. This will like, not work for. Isn't. Like, I'm dry to normal. I'm mm. verging more on normal because I've been doing a lot of skincare. Like, I mean, fucking dousing myself in rose hip seed oil. And then like, glycolic acid. Yeah. Love it. But, like, it would work for me. But... It would work for you. It would not work for me or half of my friends. There's two specific target audiences for this product. 15-year-old girls. Yes. Who love Rihanna and want glitter. Or dry skin people who just want to be luminous. That's there is two. But I, see, like, I can easily, don't get me wrong, easily, this will go viral on TikTok. This will, oh, go, this will blow up. I just don't think, like, they, didn't they, am I, am I, like, 
I don't know, maybe I'm suffering from like memory damage, but didn't they release a product like this like a year ago? Yes, the, the kilowatt highlighter, the liquid one, that was released not that long ago. I think maybe six months. So this is the same thing. Yeah, but I in my mind it is because it's gonna operate in a very, very it's similar way. BT dubs, I saw that um kilowatt liquid highlighter in TK Maxx. Did you pick it up? No, because I don't give a shit. Oh. Well, I would have. No, but um, this is just... I'm trying to buy a house, my love. So, you know, if I come back with more makeup items, Hill will be like... Well, if you want to sell your palettes to someone, please do keep me in mind. Um, no, 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 I'm I... smug, just <laughs> sitting on a shit ton of palettes, being like, they're all mine. <laughs> Can you imagine it gets to the point where you just have to sell the palettes? Like, which no, one shut the fuck up. I don't need that negative. <laughs> Which one goes first? <laughs> End call. <laughs> Done. Um, no, I don't. I don't see the appeal for me personally. If you love Rihanna, whatever. Yeah. But. Look, this is going to sell. All it needs is Michaela Naguera just being like, "Oh my god, do you see this? Oh my she, god." To be fair, I met her in real life. She's a gorgeous girl. Yeah, however, yeah. however, I don't think she realizes that this isn't going to work for every person. I would love someone who would literally, I'd love a, someone like a, a Robert Welsh or a Wayne Goss who would sit there and go, listen, this is gorgeous, but not for oily skin. Yeah. I think that is, that, if I was an influencer, I would do that. I'd say, yeah. this is this is great, not for oily skin. Yeah. But if you have dry skin or if you want to look a bit more luminous, great. Um, Balanced but, review. What else are you going to do with this? Mix it in with your foundation or mix it in with, or just put it underneath the palette. What are you going to do with this? Put it into a paintball gun. And put it, the, yeah. the birds look <laughs> put it into an incinerator and just burn it. Yeah. Um, look, I'm feeling very violent these days, it seems. I know. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I mean, it looks nice. And to be fair, they've got beautiful models. I will say the before right. pictures of the models, I'm like, you bastards. You look beautiful beforehand. And they've now just like, look at them after. Better. I'm like, no, they still like, before. Yeah, I'm like, no, give me somebody like me who looks like a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> just like rolled out of bed <laughs> do that and, and be like oh look she looks presentable now the children aren't going to run away from her <laughs> the town people aren't going to come at her with pitchforks and burning embers no. you know? like that, that. <laughs> sell it to me that way but yeah I mean for me I'm like eh this is old news don't really care I was kind of surprised when I saw this and I was like is this new is this yeah I saw this and I was like am I yeah, and then I was like, no, apparently not, not. Um, I'm sorry, I went to a TK Maxx earlier um, in the week. There is like the sheer amount of Fenty stuff that is on the shelves. This will probably be on the shelf in like four months. Oh, well, I don't think this is gonna sell out. No, I don't think so. I am inclined to agree. And I, I think we have a basis for saying this because when you look at the stats, 49% yeah. said love it. It's a 50-50. I think that's quite interesting because there was a point where everyone was like, yeah, 100% love Fenty, love it, love, yeah. it, love it. But it does feel like it's kind of... Fenty's really just... I don't know. Fenty mm -hmm. did great when it first launched. But I don't know who's using... I feel they, they did too much too quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, they oversaturated themselves. Now we have KVD who have been going through like a rebranding for the last two years since ditching uh, Kat Von Disease. And basically they're like, hey, we had these like everlasting long wear liquid lipsticks, which were incredibly popular with the line. Like I would argue along with the tattoo liner, this was probably the thing that was really keeping the brand going at one point. And I think to further distance themselves from Kat Von Diphtheria, They've kind of decided, hey, we're going to reformulate. We're going to get rid of the packaging, which I would agree with. I do think they needed new packaging. They needed to like get her name yeah. off things. It yeah. was weird seeing her name still on things. Um, but they have reformulated this. They've changed the names, which again, I personally think is a good idea because, you know, Lolita, not a great name to have considering, you know, yeah. yeah, it's not, it's not great. I think actually the renaming is really, really smart. But I think I'm a bit worried about them changing the formula because they have said it is reformulated. Do you so, know, do you know, when I, when I first opened Instagram, and this is how, this is how much this upset. I opened opened Instagram I saw this on Trend New I literally I looked at my phone I kid you not I looked at my phone I saw it and I went nope and I turned off my phone 
Do you know how miserable this made me? This formula. I want on. a more. I want a more dramatic reaction. I want you to. Look I at went. I went. Me. I went. No. 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 And I. It's not I'm real. Swinging it across the room. But like, no. no. Literally, this can't. No. This. This can't be happening. Like, I have now lost two of my most favorite lipstick formulas. Now, I have lost Kat Von D, and I've lost Jafar Star. I have now. I can't buy either. And these were my two favorite matte liquid lip formulas. This formula, and I have, right, I have a mini of this. This is the old packaging. Yes, which I, I have that, yeah. This is, an, now they've discontinued this color. Very rude. Ludwig, they've now discontinued it. It was my favorite. I lived for this lipstick. When it came out, there was nothing like it. It could survive. Do you remember that woman? That poor woman who got in a car crash? And then, and like, she... Like she went, she got a really bad car crash. She's like, she was fine, but she was in hospital. She had a neck brace on and everything. She put, she took a picture of herself, like a selfie. Her eyeliner wings and her lipstick didn't budge. And she was like, buy from Kat Von D. This, <laughs> this. That's the marketing campaign. That is what we want. We want the eyeliner that doesn't budge in a car crash. This lipstick was my favorite. It was waterproof. It wore, it wore for like 20 hours. It was. There was like all these complex undertones and like weird, crazy colors. Like I'm, I'm a full punk rock goth lover. And I hate that they have done this now because that formula, look, I, I am gonna have to say, there is slight potential that this formula will still be similar. I doubt it. I think that they've moved on from Cat too much now. And it's yeah. like, with good Apple and with, I, I don't think this, I don't have much hope for this brand anymore. It's not my brand anymore, but um. Yeah, I mean, do you remember when the eyeshadow palettes were really interesting? Oh, really good. Like, so cool. Uh, like, La Vida Loca, that was... Oh, I, my God, the rainbow one, the massive one. Yeah. yeah. I still kick myself that I didn't get that at the time. But... Oh, I, I remember that. The grey quad, which I was obsessed with. Yeah. They did some incredible stuff, but yeah. now, it's then... like, now it's like kindness. Like, what does it stand for now? Kindness. Kindness, I mean... vegan, beauty. I, no, it's... Divine. Oh, I, like, I don't care. Like, don't what, care. Like, what are you doing? Like, this is so... Also, excuse me, the most offensive, horrible thing about this. Where's the black? She did, She did. along with Jeffrey, she did the best black lipstick. The best black, black matte liquid lipstick. Where is the black? so hard. It's so hard to find a good matte liquid. It's so hard. Black. And those two are my favourite. Best one I have found is Lunar Beauty in the shade Wicked. I've heard now. I want to try his contour palette because apparently it's very good. I really want to try it. His lip glosses apparently are amazing. Oh, sickening! Beautiful. I really gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, you know this is sad. I like the blue and you know the, the nudes and the, uh, like. It's whatever. Like I don't care, yeah. but it's sad. I really loved this formula. I I'd love to see a half and half. So half of yes. like somebody's face with the, the, old, one. the old one and then half with the new one because they've said by the way. If you liked this shade of the old formula, here's the shade in the the new one. New one. So I would I would like that. Could somebody I look if they one? if they have a color because I know they're they're in boots in I don't know if in Ireland but in, boot, in boots they're in England. Yeah. Um, in the boots near me, they have them, and if I can find a color similar to this, potentially might pick it up. Um, it's twenty two. It's it's like twenty quid. So if I want to pick it up, um, maybe if I'm feeling generous. Then I'll buy it and maybe I'll compare it. But I don't know. I don't have hopes for this. I I'm really sad because this brand used to be like my brand. Like I loved everything she did. And the minute, like I, I probably no, actually not even the minute she left because she left quite a while ago now. But ever since about t- end of 2020, it just went down. Yeah, it went down. I'm interested oh, to God. see how this goes, but I don't have any stats yet. I'm gonna be interested to see what you guys think. So I'll pop that up onto the screen now. But that does mean we're heading into some sneak peeks. So the first thing is Nomad Cosmetics, who has been drip feeding us this. So it's their new destination palette. I've no idea where it is, but as soon as I saw the greens, I was like, shut shut up. Yeah, love it. The green, the green the Yeah. And then they were like, here's some pinks. And I was like, I love juxtaposing hot pinks against greens because I just love the, the clashingness of it. Like yeah, no, I agree. So fun. I think it brings me back to my early emo days because you always same, bring same. things together. Clashing colors. Yes, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna go and listen to Fallout Boy now. Um, I'm gonna go to Paramore. Yeah, this could be like a Hawaiian theme, meaning 
There might be some bright mango oranges. There might be a red in here. This, I think, is, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to predict it. This is probably going to be, you know, the new Mitchell Mangoes palette? Yes, yes. It will, be that. it will probably be something like that. And it will be a mix between that and the, um, the Blend Bunny. Um, Surge. Surge. It will be that. I okay. like this. It's sad we don't have any shade names because if we had shade names, I'd probably be able to tell. Yeah. The well, that's why they've not done it, the crafty bastards. Crafty bastards. They, don't, they, they know what they did. Uh, um, do you know what? I'm going to say it. This is my two cents because I'm looking at like there's butterflies, there's hummingbirds, there's, mm -hmm. you know, like leaves and stuff. Yeah. I think this is the Amazon. I think this is the rainforest. Because Brazil is near America. Oh. Boom. Boom, she figured it out. She cracked it. Then again, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the butterflies might be like a blue colour. I'm thinking the, the, I think, is that a monkey or a lion? It's a little monkey. I think that's going to be dark brown. And then the birds might be like a dove white or a grey. Um, yeah. The shimmers might be like, I don't know. I don't know much about nomad cosmetics. I've heard they're great. Right? I have quite um, a few of their palettes. I've heard I that it's, really I've heard it's really nice. Um, but you know, some of it looks cute. That and that, what is that? Is that an MC? Oh, no, Matt. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, um, I've already talked myself into this. You're, we're buying. Yeah, like, like, I'm like, this is yeah, happening. Yeah. Let's not, let's not question this. Let's not even question if this is going to happen. Yeah, no. yeah. I, um, I quite like that. I think this is going to be, I'm honest, I'm going to be 100% honest. This is the palette for me to compare it to. It will be a cross between uh, Serge and this. Yes, I can see that. Yeah. There's going to be a pink, there's going to be a lime and neon green, there's going to be a dark green, there's going to be like these um, purple colours. This will be what it is. There's going to be like a blue. Yeah. And I think that's what this is going to be. Um, I agree. Anyways, it, this is kind of like, because obviously we don't know exactly what it is. So it, there was a 50-50 split in terms of like excited. I'm oh, not yeah. sure. We'll wait to see. And the last thing we're going to talk about, oh, quite a fucking anti-climax. <sighs> Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, lads. We're doing Colour Pop again. And somehow it feels worse because we're doing Colour Pop and High School Musical. Now, High School Musical came out when I was about 14. And I went to an all-girls like school. And when I tell you that the girls that I went to secondary school with fucking shat themselves over this, they loved High School Musical. And I did not like these girls. So that, by definition, made me hate High School <laughs> Musical. So now I see High School Musical and I just think of the people that were really awful to me as a teenager. And this is like, I'm not is traumatic but I'm looking at this and just kind of going mm -mm, no oh no no I, I fully I don't blame you if it is I grew up with high school music I grew up watching high school musical this is I swear to god and I see it coming I swear to god if they do something about Hannah Montana I'm gonna kill oh, someone they will. If, they do a, if they do a Hannah Montana collection I'm gonna kill someone because that was my favourite show and I'm not gonna let them take that away from me I worship the ground that Miley walks on. I love her. Love her to bits. I love everything she does. She's been my role model since I was like nine. This is offensive. Oh, this God. is so generic. This is, you know what, again, this is the same thing as Evan Decay. They had such a good opportunity with a good part. I bet you, I bet you now it's going to be brown. It's going to be brown with the, the pop effect. It's going to be a, that Troy color. It's going to be a pastel blue. There's going to be brown. There's going to be a black, a, a neon pink for Sharpay. And that, like, why? I'm already like dreading it. I don't want to look at it. Like if I've managed to get pictures in the interim, because we do film on a, on a Wednesday to give me time to edit. So if I've found them, you're seeing them right now. We're just sheerly speculating, but I already know on principle that this is going to be shit. It's going to be terrible. Oh no, no doubt. This is going to be, by far, this is going to be like the most underwhelming. Like this is going to be it's just um, it's going to be a mishmash because you've got really different personalities with these characters. You've got yeah. Sharpay, which is probably going to be like a pink. You've got Troy, which is going to be a blue. You've got like I don't know what would the other. I don't know. None of it makes sense. The packaging, I'll give them that. The packaging is cute, but no, packaging, but the packaging but... was practically made already because there was all the branding from High School Musical. So they've literally just taken literally. the stuff that JPEGs, yeah. And just go and copy, paste. I just, I, and I say, oh God, it gets worse. It seems like there's lipsticks. Ugh, no, I don't, I don't. Oh, and highlighters. Oh, okay, yeah. And blushes, I think. Oh, this is going to get worse. Great. So I think, um, also, how big is this going to be? 
Oh, well, isn't that what we all ask in the bedroom? Um, this feels like one of the signs, the lesser known signs of the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, Just, yeah, this is the end of the world. This is the end uh, of the world. I hate um, it. I think I think Colourpop is slowly going to make its way into like the UK government, and I think they're just going to start instead of instead of like paying taxes, no buy our pallets. I think this is what it's going to be. I think this is going to be like a, like a, a mind boggling scheme where it's like we're going to try and make you buy everything. It's too much. Like, uh, can I be honest? Who is looking at any Colourpop release now and going, "New, incredible, amazing"? Yeah. You know, what? even the younger people aren't even into this anymore. Who is into? Who's buying this? Who is going to buy this? Even if you're a high school musical stan, who's going to buy this? It feels 10 years too late. It feels so cheap. Yeah. It feels so just, we had to do it because, you know, we had to. I think, you know what this reminds me of? The Revolution and Friends Club. Oh, God. It reminds me of that. A candle. Like, do you reckon this? I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. I'm already working on trying to repress this. Yeah, no, this is going to send me back into no. This just makes me sad. Anyway, I don't know what you guys think of it yet. And frankly, if it's anything above double digits of love, you're not allowed to watch my channel. Unsubscribe. Yeah, no, I've done. Just don't. I am not the person for you. But that means that's it. We've done it. We've, yeah. we've, we've scrambled through the new releases. So that means I get to talk about my favourite comment of last week. And this is from Make Me Up Missa. Uh, she said, yeah, I know. I don't know. She's one of these smaller YouTubers. I don't I know. She, yeah, she'll no, I don't one know. day make it big. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. And she said, St. Ives face, still use it, lads. I had one. To be fair, you know what the worst part is? I met Missa in person. I know. Last year. And I thought she was going to look terrible because of the amount of heavy makeup she wears. This girl had the most smoothest skin. It, like the best skin in the world. One day though it'll fall apart and then I'll feel good yeah. about myself. One day it's just like the, you know. Yeah, I'm like, you're not investing in your skin. One day, one, one day it's like the mask just starts melting off. It's just a zombie underneath. No, but um These are the things I hope and pray for. Yeah, no, she um she's she's still in her St. Ives era. Okay, well. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I invest hundreds in my skincare but okay same, same. <laughs> if she can get it to work sure great for her yeah um, I'm not I'm not great. annoyed I'm not jealous <laughs> <laughs> great, great for her um no but yeah no she, she needs to she needs to stop that yeah yeah or don't you know yeah. level the playing field you know what? maybe maybe in like 30 years time then when we see the two of us together I won't be so potato-like. Hi right, guys, that is it. You know the dealio. Like, comment, and subscribe to myself. Go check out Sam's uh, Instagram, all that sort of thing. And do please share, because sharing is caring. Except, of course, when it comes to STDs, in which case, just wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that is it. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!